Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesdays, Real Talk with a Real Tour. I'm Sharice Wynn, also known as an Agent Lady. And today, guys, we have Stacy Mosley. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Absolutely, from Fix List. Yes. And she is going to talk about new opportunities in a limited market, which we all know is very limited. It's slim pickings out there for everyone, not just home buyers, but um, I guess home buyers, home investors. Yes, that's what I was looking for, investors. So Stacy, yeah. help me. You say know thyself. What does that mean? Yeah, I think, <laughs> of course, the first element of investing is really knowing what you're, what you're really in the market for. Okay. Um, people, you know, renting versus flipping. Um, are you a residential developer? Do you like to do mixed use? How big of a project are you thinking about doing? Okay. Um, so really, I feel like in a limited market, you really want to get precise about what are the factors that I'm looking for in an investment. Um, and so we're focused on things like the use, like I was mentioning, mm -hmm. the size, and then general location. General location, because that means everything. Yeah. <laughs> what is your appetite? Okay, so get to know the market. Like, what... What does that mean yeah. for the, the buyer? So getting to know the market, especially when we're in such a heated market as Philadelphia, mm -hmm. um, really takes more than just knowing, oh, this is a hot neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We know things are block by block, so mm -hmm. how how far out is development really pushing? Mm -hmm. um, the, the factors of new construction New construction really only starts happening once people have gotten really comfortable with doing renovations mm -hmm. and are making that commitment um, knowing that it's going to be worth doing the development on a brand new piece of land. Or not a brand new piece of land, but doing brand new construction on a piece of land. That makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the ways to get to know the market is to see where the boundary of development is actually happening. Where okay. is that new construction taking place and where does it really stop right now? Um, but then... Where is it getting ready to be uh, be under development? So, so land sales. Right. So how do you do that without driving around? Yeah. Because sometimes you drive around like, oh my God, it's happening here, it's happening there. And right. yeah, you try to keep up, but it's almost impossible if you're like going out to every neighborhood. And it's changing on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I, exactly. So we have our site uh, fix list. We have a dashboard where you can actually see these changes and it's mm -hmm. updated on a daily basis. So nice. <laughs> where those projects are under mm -hmm. construction and where those land sales are happening, you can see all of that laid out mm -hmm. so that you know where those boundaries actually are. Right. Yeah. Okay. So literally you can go onto your site, fixlist.com? Dot co. Dot co. Yes. I knew that. I was just seeing a few of that. Fixlist.co. Search a specific, I guess, zip code. Is yeah. that what you... You can do that. You can do that. And then literally you can see what is being, what's already developed and yeah. what could be developed. Exactly. That's pretty freaking awesome, guys. This is for buyers, regular home buyers, and obviously investors. This yeah. is great because if you're not able to afford one neighborhood, you can like trickle out a little bit further knowing that that neighborhood is one of two. Huh? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Absolutely. All right, so off market opportunities. Yeah. How do we get into that? So once you have, you know, you know what you want to buy, mm -hmm. you know where the market is heading. Okay. This last piece is really then trying to identify individual assets that may not even be actively for sale, but mm -hmm. could be transformed in the areas where the market's going. Okay. Um, so we're talking again, like about that vacant land, maybe vacant shells. Maybe there are assets that haven't changed hands in 20 some years and mm -hmm. people are interested in, in changing that up. Um, there's certainly sheriff sale as an acquisition method. Okay. Um, and again, all of that is searchable through our site once you have, have your criteria down. Okay. Yeah. So you can see what's up and coming and then you can find your off-market opportunities just by going to fixlist.co. Yep. And what we've got with every single address mm -hmm. is loads of information, okay. both about that property, all of its violation history, its mm -hmm. permit history, who the owner is right now. Um, one of the things that's really tricky is once you find that asset, how do you get in touch with that owner? Exactly. Yeah. And really those kinds of, uh, those kinds of situations are a little bit trickier. You don't necessarily have somebody who's like ready, willing, and able, they might, you might have to do a little extra research. You might have to stop them and find them. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, social media is getting pretty hot with that, too. That's right. True. <laughs> yeah. And I think um, there's a site, I think Spokio? Yes. Can? Okay. Yeah. So sites like Spokio, you mm -hmm. can 
put in that owner's name, general area that they live in, and it'll it'll give you some alternative addresses, some alternative phone numbers. To I reach think out. there was another site like Ben Verified. I think I just yeah. seen that, which is interesting. I don't know. These sites get pretty spooky too, though. <laughs> That's true. The internet is a weird place. <laughs> right, right, right. So I guess last thing with the fixed lists, what are some things like what what is your what is the opportunity by yeah. somebody using your site? obviously to find off-market opportunities, but what else can it allow them to do? So other than um, being able to search and understand the market, you're also able to uh, basically print out the packet. Once you're ready to invest, mm -hmm. you can print out a packet that you can hand to a lender and see all of the context trends of what's going on in the neighborhood mm -hmm. uh, or a boundary of your own making. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a pro forma calculator where you can put together all of your project costs and see what your potential return might be. And it's it's a really powerful and uh, elegant packet to then share with folks that you want to get financing from. So we try to do all the heavy lifting, wow. aggregate all that data, crunch all those numbers and let you succeed. That is pretty freaking awesome. Thanks for making fixlist.co. Thank you. You're welcome. High <laughs> fives on that. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And remember, guys, friends don't let friends buy or sell real estate without the agent lady. Make it a great day.